Welcome along to Kings of Rugby, the brand new career mode we are kicking off today on Rugby 18. It is the Kings up against Aurillac, their French D2 club with a couple of dangerous names in this side, most notably uh, Nagusa on the blind side flank and a couple of dangers in the back line, Valentine and McPhee of note. As for the Kings, first match, they have Tommy Funa, McDonald and Gullimon. In the second row, Foley and Wells, Croft, Kaloma Fonny and Trivranis in the back row. Mian and Tamil light up in the halves and it's Mapipi, LaRue, Hughes, Yunoni and Adil Lucan in the back line. Kickoff is quickly underway and the Kings are receiving an instant straight away. Yunoni with a bad pass straight off the whistle. Vili LaRue picks that one up with his fast paced stuff straight into the action here as we're seeing the Kings in action for the first time. Mian has a little run off the base of that breakdown. Looking for quick ball here, the Kings. They have advantage if they want to use it. No, it is the tight end prop, Gulliman, who's going all alone by himself. He gets it away to Adil Lucan, who sets it up near the 10 metre line. Croft, pick and go from the blindside flanker, going sideways as the Kings struggle to keep hold of this ball, but Ben Meehan sees it at the back. Short one, finally gets it out to Mapimpi. Mapimpi makes the first line break of the Kings' time, and he kicks it away eventually as the fence climbs up on him, coming from the back. The defence shifts nicely, but an intentional offside there against Doriak. They say, yes, they kicked that one, and the chaser was well in front of the kicker. He pulled that in. As the Kings are looking to take the ball, so this is an early opportunity for territory or for points, and the Kings have gone for points. And it's Gulliman who's been given the duties to take the first ever shot at goal for the Kings. Well, that's a big surprise with Matt Tamur in the team. But it is... The tight end prop, Anton Gulliman, who has the first shot at goal. Out on the left side, slight breeze to his right. He strikes it beautifully, and the Kings lead 3-0. That is exactly what they needed to kick their season underway. Kick off back underway, and Ben Tummy and Bruno has it. They shift it through the backs before the intercept comes away. Back to Oriak. Now the Kings quickly getting the kick back. And they shift out to the right. Adir Lucan gives no room to move. They continue to persevere out there. Here's Big Ben, Tommy Afuna. Look at him go. The monster of man looks for the pass inside. But Oriak do nothing but kick this ball once again away. Now they have some position, a chance to attack. They shift it to this right-hand side. But Kalal Mufani is the one who picks up the loose ball. Cleaning up at the back is the big number eight. Mian, another little run, he didn't really know where he wanted to go and he set up Mpimpi, but Gulliaman makes a good run of things there to get them up towards midway, 10 metre line, and now with again, Adil Lucan is streaking free, he has got a big lead there, but he has dragged down a good tackle, and that was one of the danger men we spoke of earlier, here is Mian again, Gulliaman does well, goes away to Harry Wells, and he goes just on... The other side of halfway for Oriak as there's a big push off there from Croft. What a pass as well to Mpimpi. But he's gone into such good tackle there. Looked like a tight end prop for Oriak, who puts him over the sideline. Extraordinary defense there from the big man of this French club. Line out. Just five men is the call from Oriak, and they get it to the front and put down nicely. Now they look to maul it forward. They're twisting it around. It's going almost sideways. They want to straighten this up here. The Kings, they've got no answer to this whatsoever by Oriak as they steam forward. Big numbers there for them. Now it's slowed down, though. They're going to have to use it. And they get it away, and they just kick it straight down the middle of the field. Great take! From Rory Hughes at the back, they fire it wide. They've got numbers, but a good tackle puts that pass to ground. And a man slow to get up there. Manny Samula, he's back there for the Kings. Looking for victory number one. And matchup number one is Gulliman again. He has been front and centre for the Kings. Tommy Afuna drops it off. Did that drop forward? The ref says no, that is not a knock on. Ben Meehan looks to be carrying a bit of a knock, which is a bit of a concern. 
as the ball to Trevor Annis is, well, taken from an offside position by the Oriac players. So we have 40 minutes up on the clock, and the Kings, well, they're taking a free kick, which has gone cross-field, cross-field kick pass by the Kings. Only the Kings can do that. Now they look to shift, looking for their first try. Mpimpi's taken in a good tackle. Isolated, but he gets free in sooner or later. He needs a few more of them as well as they smash in. Tom Croft makes a, a big hit there, and it's ball lost. And away it goes to Oriak. They come to his left-hand side, and Gulliman's there for dust. Real opportunity now, but it's intercepted. And that could change this game, as here come the Kings, looking to shift it from left to right. Great pass, intercepted once more. And Oriak, another chance for them to come away once more. This is great stuff from the small French club. Is this a drop goal attempt? It is indeed. This is going all pear-shaped here for the Kings. They need to set this up. They need to kick this ball out. It is becoming a disaster for the Kings. They do win the ball back. Tommy Afuna. Oh, he's just stopped it cold. He's just stopped it cold. And Oriak have gone in for the try. It looks like this scrum half as it didn't quite catch it. It was a comedy of errors here. As you saw Tommy Afuna looking for possibly Trevor Arnes, but getting in the way was Quinton McDonald. You see it here, McDonald number two. He wasn't looking at the ball at all. And Tommy Afuna trying to give us numbers on the outside. Have let that one go astray. And here comes some substitutes as well for Oriak. For Card coming off, coming on for Nagusa. The man we spoke of being a danger is out of the game. And who was that try scorer? There was no even real mention, was there, of who scored that try? Here's the conversion, though, and it is just snuck in the right hand post. And successful half time. It is 7 3. And quite a match having so far. Plenty of chances on both sides. But there is that concern of the injury to Ben Meehan. So, tackle count. Ridiculous as always. 26 by Oriak, just nine by the Kings. Um, so let's go in here to our team and we've got to look at, yeah, Tyrannus is a bit white there. I don't know why he's got a white number, but we'll definitely bring off Ben Meehan because he is injured. We've got Paul Marshall on the bench, the veteran. We'll bring him on in place of Meehan. Um, other than that though, I think we'll leave things as they are. Oh, let's click that wrong button. And we'll go to the next half. That is 7-3. So it is Gilliman who's still got the kicking boots on. He kicks off the second half high for the Kings. But it is easily claimed there for Oriak. As they are on their own side of halfway by a whisker. Tommy Afuna had some serious weight into that breakdown. As does Gilliman. It's almost a scrum. There's that many big boys in there. Now here's Marshall. Oh, look, great little pass if that could have held. It would have been a way of massive space for the Kings. As it is though, Oriak look to attack themselves. And Marshall has to make the desperate last ditch tackle. Jumping into the breakdown is everyone. Ben Tommy Afuna. Oh, big Ben Tommy Afuna. He has put that pass into touch. But we're going back for the dangerous tackle there. Oh, he did the 12. Well, that's debatable. It was a bit high. And I mean, Tommy Afuna is a big lad. Oh, and here's an injury. Oh no, looks like Tommy Afuna is it? The man who just got tackled by that high shot. He is injured. Wow, we need to bring someone on now for Tommy Afuna. We've got Olandi um, on the bench, who was our original pick. We'll bring him straight on. And that's changed. Well, obviously being stretched off. Not showing that on camera. And we will continue now with a penalty, which now we have the ball fired away. Oh, and straight into touch. He's caught it nicely, but not able to keep his balance. And he's gone straight into touch. It was Unoni who was taking the kick as well. The Italian. Um, so we, we've got kickers coming from all over the place at the moment doing the job. Quinton McDonald is the one with the line out, though. And amazingly, our back line is as flat as a pancake. Unoni gets a good ball away. And he has a real chance out wide for Mpimpi. He's one on one. Mpimpi. Oh, wow. Wow. What a shot. Mpimpi is laid out flat. And he's not moving. He is moving. He's up. He's up. Mpimpi. What a show of character. 
Here is a big pass wide for Croft. He beats one and more. The pass going the wrong way. That could have been the chance. He's gone backwards. Here's Rob Jenny. Come on, Fonny. Oh, he's short by an inch. That could be the winning of the game now. There's only 20 to go. It's Marshall. Marshall held up. He's got a big man. Wrapped him up like Christmas present. It's there. Goodman. He waits at the base. Fires it out to Croft. Tom Croft's over. Tom Croft. That's the first ever try for a Kings player. It had to happen, didn't it? It had to happen. Gilliman took his time, but he fired out to a big flanker. Tom Croft caught short, but he placed that ball without moving his body a second time. And that can't be considered double movement. That is a fair try. Great positioning of the post here. Can't see a damn thing. But we see the real action, which was the finish from Tom Croft. So question remains now, who's going to be taking this? Oh, it is Matt Tamua, finally. Matty Tamua's taking the shot at goal. Places it on the tee. This is who should be kicking all along. It's 8-7. We have an absolute nail-biter on our hands here, folks. Tamua steps up, strikes it nicely between these sticks. It is 10-7. That penalty early on is making all the difference here for the Kings up against Zoriak. Now McDonald quickly back into action. Oh, Kalal the funny got squashed like a bug. And this could be a turnover. It is. Oriak get the ball back. They are all gone the wrong way. And Tom Croft makes a brutal hit. It's up, guys, Mapimpi. And there's a call by the ref here for an offside. That is against the Kings. And wow, they have gone for the corner. Now what's happening here? Intentional offside against Oriak here. Well, they kick for the corner, and that man, well, I mean, I think mean, you could you could take your pick of about eight players who were offside there, but unbelievably, somehow, they've, they've given that as offside again. This is bizarre. So now, now we've got another kick taking place. It's the second row, and we've got another intentional offside. What on earth is happening here? It was their lock as well. <laughs> now... Now he's offside, so that's three penalties in about two seconds worth of play. And now we've got another penalty. Now it's the other second row, Foley this time, taking the kick to touch. What on earth is going on? Do we have some play to continue with now, please? Looks like we do. No intentional penalties this time is... Quinton McDonald and his Kings team are quite happy that they've just moved up a good 60 metres upfield now. As here's the line out. Oh, it's a close one. Stolen at the front. And they cannot hang on to that, the Kings. is now... Oh, another. Now, did that look high? That was very similar to the tackle that injured Tommy Afuna. Here is Orlandi. He's been smashed. The ball goes up. And a breakaway from Oriak. But they cannot fully break the line. Here's Croft. Oh, intercepted once more. And away comes Paul Marshall. He turns on the ball. Now he's got to look for support. He's got Del Luke in there, but he doesn't use him. He goes for the kick instead. And now, oh, that's a terrible ball. But somehow, Audiac get away with it just outside their 22. Now, are they going to kick this ball away? Oh, be, oh that's been dropped. And they kick forward here, the Kings. And now Audiac can bust away again as they pick up that loose ball. Kalama Fani making another brutal tackle. Billy LaRue, we haven't said his name there as he just jumped into that breakdown. Oh, my pimpy! Gets rid of one. LaRue, of course, playing at uh, inside centre. Here comes Marshall. Marshall breaking free himself. But he can't quite time the spin and gets a big tackle straight to the back. Time is up here, folks. So, oh, this game could be ended right now, to be fair. And some more changes here for Oriak. What do the Kings have got? A kick at goal or a free kick? What do they want? They could end it right now, 10-7. No. No, they're going to go for the kick pass once more. It is Orlando who's taken it. And they've got numbers here as well. If they can use some, it's two on one. Oh, great tackle on Billy LaRue. He could have been in for the try there. Here's Marshall again. Terrible pass. No one time out here except for Kalal Mufani as he busts one. But doesn't get through the second. Struggling to hold on to position here, the Kings. 
just getting it through Marshall. He's all alone. This is a, a terrible run decision making from Marshall, but he busts one tackle to make it not seem okay. The Kings, they want another try. Oh, driven to the ground. There's advantage for someone, but no one seems to be getting any penalties here at all. Offside, so there it is. The penalty does go to the Kings. There's some more changes here for Oriak. A big man for a little man. Don't know how that change is going to go for them. But the Kings want another try. And now with the ball is Vili LaRue. Yunani gets it as well. And a pass away to Gulliman is, well, it's driven straight to the ground. Here's some numbers again. It's a big chance. Here's a Adair Lucan. He could do this alone. No, he's chopped down. Great tackle from his opposite when it should have been a try. Here's Tom Croft looking for two. They are just 10 metres out now, the Kings, but they've lost the ball. And a great chance has gone begging. It's busting through the tackles. Uriak look to break their way out of their own 22 and go coast to coast to win this game. No, it's turned over again. Terrible pass. Oh, that is a monster of a shot. That absolutely drove Unoni into the ground. But it's another turnover. It's turnover central here. As they look quickly to get it away to Mpimpi. But he's driven to the ground as the fence shifts very, very quickly across. Still here, though, for the Kings, is it? Slowly but surely, they get it back. Look at everyone standing around each other. That is terrible positioning by the Kings. They are out on their feet here. Marshall again. Goes way to Croft. And there's no way Adil Lucan is going to get through there. Completely congested. Everyone is completely buggered here. Their energy and their stamina is shot. Intercepted. And away come the... Well, attack. The counter-attack from Oriak. But it's intercepted once more. And it's another chance here for Marshall. And the Kings who are going backwards. Well, it's getting in the way once more. They seem to be just getting in each other's way completely here, the Kings. They just need to end this. It is going really downhill. They've lost 40 metres now. And they have danger, of course, of losing this game. Is that a, a pass that's been knocked down? It's picked up from Oriak, who go into the halfway line. Good run from the second rower there. They are in trouble here, the Kings. They've got to be really careful. Defensively, they're all over the show. But it's given time to put up a kick. And the Kings pull it in. Now they look wide. I mean, they've got no one with any wheels here. Adair Lucan is absolutely stuffed. As soon as he put the foot down, he lost all momentum there. They have made room, though. And they're inside Oriak's half. But again, they're just standing in each other's way. It is all congested here by the Kings. Marshall. Leroux. Oh, he looked for Marshall in the double round. It's been kicked forward again. His trip round is giving to Croft and the try scorer and potential match winner. It's got nothing left in the tank. The Kings have nothing left in the tank. High one. Claim to the back from Orlandi. What he's doing out there, I'm not sure. Big tackle. Chopping off the legs there. It's Kalal Mafoni wanted to make a big run. Well, this is wise. Very, very wise from Paul Marshall. He's kicked that straight to touch, and it is all over. The Kings win by a slender margin, 10 points to 7. One try to Tom Croft. That was all that was needed, and that put them in for the victory, thanks to a penalty goal from who else but Anton Gulliman. What a match to kick off our career. And as you can see by the stats here, there was a lot more defensive work done in the second half by the Kings. The Kings of Rugby, 28 tackles, but still 57 for Oriak was a massive, massive amount. One try, one conversion each, just a penalty goal separating these two sides. A good little boost there to our My Squad points as well. But overall, um, a game, not for the ages, but remember, we are in the lowest division. So a bit of concern there, but we move on. So it's game one done and dusted. You can see on the left side, we have four points in the bank from our one win. And next up, we are up against Van. Van. Call them what you like. I had to Google how to pronounce these teams' names, but they're just called Van. Bizarrely. Um, we'll make sure our team is all fit and ready. I think Mian's injury is not going to keep him out. Uh, neither is Ben Tamiafuna. So those guys will go straight back into the starting side for our match against Van. Next up in episode number two. But uh, we'll be here 
um, because you guys haven't really seen the full squad. Um, I'll give you a little clip that I made while I was building the squad so you can see who's in the full team and, of course, who's in the reserves for later on in the season. So let's check that out now. Okay, so here is our side. You can see very quickly we've gone 62k over budget, but I wanted to get a lot of the guys that you guys mentioned in the side. So, Tommy Inferno, McDonald, Gurman, they are our front row. Um, your suggestions were amazing. So, thank you, everyone, who did bring in suggestions. Foley and Harry Wells. I keep calling him Henry in the second row. Tom Croft, uh, Trevor Arnis, Kalamafoni in the back row. That is an amazing back row that I really want to keep. They were all your guys' suggestions, Trevor Arnis and Kalamafoni. You guys suggested me and Antumua as well. A nice little Australian halves combination there. We've got former king, my pimpy, on the left wing, of course, as well. So it's great to have him in there. Billy LaRue, we put into the centers because we wanted to mix things up. And your guys' suggestions had a good fullback. So we've got LaRue and Tommaso Unoni. We've got Adira Lucan, another suggestion from you guys. So, I mean, these guys I didn't even know about on the right wing. And Rory Hughes, really quick, this fella, um, adept at playing fullback as well. So we put him at fullback, but we could always swap around those, well, the centers, the wingers, and the fullback. The substitutes bench have got pretty much the last rated players we could find. Of course, Orlandi was one we picked earlier, but we've gone for what some of you suggested in the comments as kind of a barbarian team with players from all kinds of nationalities. So, of course, because the game doesn't have really, really bad players uh, from the Southern Hemisphere, because it's only the international teams licensed, that means that we've had to stick with um, mostly Northern Hemisphere players. But, I mean, there's a lot they've gone over there. The Tommy Funas, the McDonald's from New Zealand. We've got the, uh, the Mians and Tamuas from Australia. We've got the Vili LaRue from South Africa. Then we've got, of course, Unoni, uh, the Italian, um, things like that. So we're keeping it nice and open. Plenty of options from around the globe of rugby. But that is episode one. Thank you all for tuning in and thank you all for making comments as to who you think we should sign. A lot of your guys, uh, players you suggested were a bit expensive. And as you've already seen by the team that we've made up, we're already over budget and I've pretty much picked most of the worst players in the whole list of, of players. So we've got to win this season. We've got to win it well um, or else we could risk going bankrupt very, very quickly. I know you get at least, well you get two warnings. You get a warning and then you get sacked. So worst comes to worst, we'll take the warning on the chin and hopefully uh, promote and take things from there. But that is it for today. Episode 1 of Rugby 18 Career Mode with the Kings. Kings of Rugby, I'll see you in Episode 2. Thanks for tuning in. And until then, take care.